How do we know the Bible is true? Well, I'm going to answer that question in two ways. The first way I'm going to answer internally. And what I mean by that is that there is a work of the Holy Spirit in those who are born again, where he confirms internally the certainty, the truth of God's word. Jesus said it in this way. He said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So we know that, and Jesus says, John 17, 17, sanctify them, sanctify believers by the truth. Your word is truth. So when it comes to the truth of God's word, there, there is the internal um, conviction that the Bible is true. Then externally, uh, meaning outside of the human being, I'm going to give you five ways that we, we know the Bible is true. The first is Jesus himself. He said things like, your word is truth. So either Jesus is right, that the Bible is true, John 17, 17, or he's wrong. And so as Christians, resurrected Jesus, when he speaks on spiritual things, we're going to take him as the authority where he says the Bible is true. He's going to say, uh, Matthew 4, 4, that every word of scripture comes from God. God is the source. God cannot lie. Therefore, the Bible is true. Number one, internally, but also externally because Jesus said so. Number two, there is a consistent message. So one of the marks of truth is consistency. When something is inconsistent, that is an indication that it is false. Well, from Genesis to Revelation, we have a consistent message. We have a we have consistency. Writ, though the Bible is written by forty plus different authors, three continents, three language over 50, three languages over fifteen hundred years, there is one consistent message which points to the Bible being true. Next, there is archaeological evidence that there has there's never been an archaeology, an archaeological discovery that has contradicted the Bible. There hasn't been one. Archaeology has been a discipline for at least 200 years now. And it's crazy how much people, archaeologists, use the Bible to find sites, to find what's going on in the Holy Land. Why? Because the Bible is true. The next way we know the Bible is true is by manuscript evidence. We have thousands and thousands of manuscripts of the New Testament, for instance. This over 6,000 to this day. Manuscripts are either fragments of a verse or entire Bibles, entire New Testaments. Those are, would be manuscripts. And when we compare all the manuscripts, put them all together, what we have is well over 99% confirmation that what we have in our New Testaments is what was written by the original authors. And the parts where there's scholars aren't sure whether what we have is, um, is what was written by the original author, they do things like put brackets around them. So go to the end of mark and you'll see brackets around verses 9 to 20. Scholars are saying, hey, we're going to put this here, but we're not certain whether or not Mark actually wrote this. Or the woman caught in adultery at the end of John 7, beginning of John 8. There'll be brackets around that where scholars are saying, we're not sure if this is what the author originally wrote, but we're going to put it here just in case. So we're not hiding those areas. We're actually making them very clear in our Bibles. And then finally, there's prophecy where history is written in advance, not a couple days or a couple years, but hundreds of years in advance, the Bible writes what's going to happen, and then it happens exactly as the Bible says. So you have the words of Jesus. You have Jesus himself saying, hey, this is true. We have a consistent message from beginning to end of the Bible. We have archaeological evidence. We have manuscript evidence, and we have predictive prophecy. So internally, the work of the Spirit convinces someone Christianity is true. Externally, Jesus, consistency, archaeology, manuscripts, and prophecy all point to the fact that what you have in the Bible is true.